So now we're going to connect Angular either through our local host, which we've already started and talked about, and we're also going to do it through a CDN. Both are very easy, as you'll see. So if we open up Sublime Text, notice where JS, this folder, is actually on in relation to the index folder. If you know HTML, none of this should be new. But since we're actually emulating it on our server, we do want to do it in a specific way. And that is, I'm going to do script source equals to dot slash JS slash angular dot min dot JS. And then we're going to close off that script. So where is this going? This, of course, is a relative path to the index file. So the index file itself is here, right? So if we actually look at the folder itself, we see source index is there. So relative to that, it's JavaScript and then angular.min.js. So this dot slash means it goes back to this index file. So if I just added a slash there, it would actually go to that. And then it looks for a folder called JS. And then in there, it looks for that angular min.js. Really simple. If we go ahead and inspect the element here, we can actually click on the head and click on this file itself. And notice even if I scroll over it, it will tell me the location of where it is. It kind of goes away, but it shows you the location. You can also right click or control click on that and open a new, new tab. And this is the location of that file. Now, of course, if I had this incorrect, let's say for instance, I said one JS or something wrong, and I went back in here and refresh, I should get an error on my console and I do. It gives me a 404 error or a git error um, as far as getting that actual file because it just doesn't exist. So I bring it back and it works again and the console is clean. This console inside of the Chrome browser will actually be something you'll get used to using a lot. So control click or right click and then inspect will bring you in here. There's another shortcut, but that's what I end up using most of the time. So now we have it loaded locally, right? So this is using our local server as we saw with this page right here. It actually is using the same URL as our local server. But if we wanted to use what's called a content delivery network, we could use that and we should use that for several reasons. I'll tell you those in a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and copy this URL right here. And notice the slight difference if I paste it in. Oh, let's go ahead and make sure we copy this URL paste it in here and that's what we see. So it, it's Google APIs and it's all this other stuff. So what it's saying here is this is a live version. So if you don't have an internet connection, which you probably do if you're watching this, but if you don't have an internet con connection, then you, you won't be able to access this. But in this case, if we downloaded it, we could access it without an internet connection, right? So that's those are some of the benefits, but using a CDN, especially when you bring it out into the world when using a CDN will make it load a lot faster because the chances are really high that this would already exist on their computer. So we're gonna add that script in and there we go. So that's how we add Angular into our project. So what we have to do now is actually initialize it and that's something we'll do in the next one.